Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, and you? Very well, thank you for asking. Ready for the English class. Uh, okay. Vamos a esperar solo un par de minutitos para ver si los demás se unen. Luego reiniciamos. Okay, my friends, we are going to start the class for today. Okay, the first question is, how is everybody doing in the platform? ¿Ya todos terminaron la plataforma? ¿O hay alguien que falte, que le falte algún ejercicio? Um, porque hay varios que me han dicho que ya hasta imprimieron el diploma. Al principio creo que le salía con un error de la fecha, pero creo que ahora... Ah, okay, that is good, Beatrice. No, no se preocupe por el micrófono. Eh, entonces, no sé si 
si hay alguien que falte, si tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda, algún comentario um, en cuanto a la plataforma, recordemos que para el otro jueves de mañana noche ya tiene que estar todo finalizado, cerrado, ¿verdad? Questions about the platform? Yo aún no he terminado, teacher, pero no, no tengo dudas al momento. Ya estoy casi en la parte final. Perfecto. Entonces hay que continuar, tratar de finalizar, pues, digamos, ya por el miércoles. De hecho, vamos a revisar el final test. Uh, y, pues, si hay preguntas o dudas, me escriben, ¿verdad? Estamos para ayudarles. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Me imaginaría también que todos ya enviaron la documentación para el siguiente curso, ¿verdad? Todo... Todos estamos ya listos y esperando yes. terminar esto y empezar el siguiente. Good. Yes. Okay. So yesterday uh, we were checking about uh, present perfect that we use for uh, past activities that continue or past activities that just recently uh, we finished. There are different ways of using that one. Um, What is the auxiliar for the present perfect? Do you remember? Have, has. Very good. Have and has. Es muy importante recordar que el auxiliar en este tiempo va siempre. Affirmative, negative, and questions. Okay? And uh, the verb is going to be always in past participle as well. Okay? And uh, we were checking some verbs. Yesterday we were repeating the pronunciation, and today we are going to start by um, well checking uh, the verbs, the meaning of the verbs, and also um, by providing a uh, an example. So of course we are going to start. Okay, uh, voy a hacer el primero yo para que veamos cómo va a ser el primero. Es el verbo to be, que es ser o estar. Todos ya sabemos eso. Y luego el pasado siempre was, where, and the past participle is been. So, an example for that one, it might be, where have you been? I've been in my house all the afternoon. Examples like that. We are going to try to use a contraction. That is something that we need to practice. I've, they've, with, uh, she's, his, it's, okay, you. So that is important to try to practice so we are able to use it. The most of the people, they use it like that. They contract uh, the subject with the um, auxiliary. Okay, the next uh, verb is begin. Do you remember what is begin? Comenzar. Very good. That is begin. So the past participle is begun. Brinda Sandoval. Could you please help me with the first example using begun? Cualquier ejemplo, okay? Usando begun, remember to use the auxiliar have. Uh, or have. Pero, ¿qué es begun? Begin is the past participle of begin. And begin, como okay. dijo el compañero, ah, es... Ah, o sea, es comenzar. Comenzar. Ok. Quiero mm. eh, ver. We began class in the English? Yes, that is a good example. Remember to use the auxiliar, we've. We've or we have. We have begun the English class. Uh, ok. Good. Uh, well, Beatrice, she says that uh, her microphone is not working properly. So, Francisco, uh, well, everybody, what is bend? Do you remember what is bend? No, teacher. Okay. Eso es doblar. Okay. The past participle is bent, and this is for Francisco. Okay, I, I've bent the paper. I bent the paper, yeah, that is a good example. I've remembered. 
Okay, the next one is bite. What is bite? More there. Very good. So, bitten is going to be for floor. Fiore in Italian. I became the apple. I've beaten the apple. Yeah, you can say that. I've beaten the apple. Okay. Or oh, an apple. You can say an apple. That is probably better. Okay. The next one is going to be blow. Do you remember what blow means? Soplar. Soplar. And uh, the past participle is blown. This is for uh, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um... I it's simply past. Uh, it's going to be with the past participle, meaning that is present. Oh, perfect. past participle. Uh, past participle. Um, I'm blow. Um, the. ¿Cómo se velas? La velas. Candles. Uh, candle. The cake. Okay, I've blown the cake candles. That is a good one. Nice. Next one is break. What is that? Quebrar. Quebrar, romper. Good. So, broken is going to be for Gerardo. I broken my computer. Okay, you can say I've broken my computer. Remember the auxiliary, please? I've. And... Um, the next one is going to be bring. What is bring? Traer. Traer. Good. So the past participle is brought. And the present perfect example is going to be provided by Brenda Cruz. ¿Cuál era, perdón? Uh, bring and brought. Brought is the past participle. Uh, I brought the 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 supermarket. La, uh, como las compras. Ah, okay. I brought. Uh, it might be I've brought um, groceries from the sh uh, supermarket. I I brought the grocery to the supermarket. Okay, good, nice. The next one is uh, build. What is build? Construir. Good, construir. Build. That is going to be for it is. Uh, she good. Uh, the house. That is okay. Just remember the auxiliary. Everybody, please remember she's or she has. If you don't say the auxiliary, it's not correct. Recordemos que estamos usando el presente perfecto. Para usar el presente perfecto, nosotros tomamos el pasado participio. Entonces, vamos a decir she has brown she has built or she's she's built igual cuando usamos i que es lo más común que estamos utilizando pues podemos decir i've pero se tiene que escuchar la contracción i've o i have sí. cualquiera de las dos maneras es importante que se diga que oh. se escuche que se mencione porque si no no lo estamos diciendo correctamente es como si dijéramos yo he traído las compras Entonces le, le falta yo he traído, ¿verdad? ella ha, ah, esa palabra entera, si no decimos el I, o has, o la contracción, no va, no la, no la estamos diciendo y no está completo. So that is important. I have Next. a question, teacher. Go ahead. Eh, siempre en las oraciones debemos agregarle el have. Eh, pero pero en pasado, vea. Eh, el have, la palabra have or has, va a ser en presente. Ah, en presente, ok. Uh -huh. 
el que va a ir en pasado participio siempre va a ser el verbo. Okay. Entonces, la estructura sería, digamos, en afirmativo, sería el sujeto, I, you, he, Carla, Mauricio, whatever. Uh -huh. Luego el auxiliar siempre va. Afirmativo, okay. en negativo, en pregunta, siempre vamos a usar el auxiliar. Que a diferencia del presente simple y el pasado, lo usamos solo en preguntas y negativas, ¿se acuerdan? Uh -huh. Aquí siempre vamos a utilizar have or has en presente. Okay. Y luego el verbo en pasado participio. Y el complemento que puede ser, pues, cualquier cosa quizás no. Porque si yo pongo una fecha específica, tendría que ser con for or since. Since es mejor, pero... Ya vamos a ver eso. Eso okay, es lo que sigue de hecho. You. You're welcome. Ok, so the next one was, let's see, burn. Uh, what is burn? Quemar. A quemar. Quemar. Oh, sí, quemar. Yeah, good. So, and the past participle is uh, burnt. Uh, Jonathan, could you please help me with the example in present perfect? Um. I, I've burned, um, the clothes. Okay, I burned the clothes. That is a good one. Thank you. The next one is buy. What is buy? Comprar. Good. And bout is the past participle. So this one is going to be for Jenny. Okay. Bought a red car. I bought a red car. That's good. Perfect. The next one is catch. Do you remember what catch is? Como cachar o agarrar. O... Atrapar. Good. Atrapar. Okay. And uh, the past participle of this one is count. So the present perfect is for Jacqueline. Es como atrapar. Yes. Mm, I call... ¿Cómo si se atrapa la pelota? Mm, it might be I've caught a ball or the ball. Or the ball. So that is going to be, okay? Good. Caught. The next one is come. What is come? Venir. Venir. And the past participle is also come. So it's different from came. Uh, the present perfect example is for Marcela. Could you please help me, Marcela? Um, she, she, uh, she has come. She has come? Yeah, that's Tomorrow. a good example. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. You can com uh, complement with anything. She has come late again or something like that. So that is good. Okay, uh, the next one is cost. Cost is very easy. What is cost? Do you know what is cost? Start. Como costear, sacar un costo, calcular un costo. So, uh, the past uh, participle is also cost. Um, Francisco, help me with the example with cost. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> you cost... Um, como presupuesto, ¿cómo se dirá? A budget. But you, okay. you cost your budget. Okay, you cost your budget. That is a good one. Choose, what is choose? Elegir. Elegir, good. And the past participle is chosen. Uh, this is going to be for, let's see, Jenny Escobar. Okay. I I choose 
No, no, esa es choose, ¿verdad? Es chosen. Chosen, yeah. Eh, one. I chosen one. One house. Okay, I've chosen a house. That's good. Uh -huh. Very mm -hmm. nice. The next one is day. What is day? Cabal. Cabal. Hacer un hoyito. So the past participle is dark and that is for Brenda Cruz. I've dug. ¿Cómo se dice? Hoyo. A hole. A hole. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've dug a hole. That's a good one. Yeah, perfect. The next one is do. Uh, do you know what is do, of course. So done is the past participle. And that is going to be for um, Jonathan. Um, Monica has done the homework. Very good. Monica has done her homework. Perfect. Next one is draw. What is draw? Dibujar. Good. And the past participle is drawn. This is for Marcela. Uh, Samantha drawn uh, that picture. Okay, Samantha has drawn a picture. Has the, has drawn. Very good, perfect. So number nineteen is dream. What is to dream? Soñar. Soñar. Past participle is dreamt. Brenda Sandoval. She dream in night. She has dreamt at night. Okay, she has it. Okay. The next one is drink. That is easy as well. Siempre se le pone el hack. Entonces. Todas estas en presente perfecto llevan have or has. Toditas en presente ah, perfecto. Ah, okay. Okay. So, um, drink is easy. Drunk is going to be for floor. Omar, beber. Okay. I have drunk coffee. I've drunk coffee. That's good. Perfect. The next one is drive. You know what is drive, of course, right? Yes. Manejar, conducir. Manejar. Yeah. Manejar. Okay, so driven is going to be for Carlos. Okay, teacher. Uh, he has driven your car. Very good. She has driven your car. That is perfect. Next one is eat. Of course, you know what is eat, and the past participle is eaten. Uh, this one is going to be for Jacqueline. Hello. She has an item the dinner. He has eaten the dinner. Good. Perfect. Fall. What is fall? Caer. Caer. So, falling is going to be for Gerardo. An Anna has... Fallen. In love. <laughs> yeah, that is 
this structure. She has fallen. Anna has fallen. Nice. Okay, feed. What is feed? Alimentar. Alimentar. Fed is going to be for Brian. He, he has fed his dog. Very good. Perfect. He has fed his dog. The next one is feel. What is feel? Sentir. Sentir. Felt is going to be for it is. Uh, she has feel pain the hands. Yeah, she has felt the heart. Okay, that is good. Number 26 is fight. What is fight? Pelear. Pelear. Good. Fout is going to be for uh, Brenda Cruz. He fought, no, he has fought with your brother in the night. That is good. He has fought with your brother at night. Find, what is find? Encontrar. Good. Found is going to be for Jenny. I found money. I have in the pants. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I found money in the pants. So that is good, right? When that happens, it's like, hey, one dollar. Very $5. happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So the next one is fly. What is to fly? Volar. Good. Flown is going to be for Jonathan. Uh. The pure uh, has uh, flow uh, around the church. Very good. The bird has flown around the church. That's perfect, actually. Get. What is get? Tiene. Okay. Tener o tener. Good. Gotten is going to be for Marcela. Um, I I've got a lot of money. Okay, that is a good one. I've got money. Give. What is give? Dar. Dar. Giving is going to be for Brenda Sandoval. Mm, yeah. Uh, sería. She has dar. Uh, blues my. My sister, sorry, because blouse. A blouse, okay. She has given, right? Mm -hmm. She has given a blouse to my sister. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, that's good. Go is very easy. Uh, and the past participle is gun. That is for Carlos. Go, uh, ir, Yeah, yeah. Okay. I... Uh, I have, I, um, um, tiem, ¿qué tiempo, teacher? Sorry. Siempre va a ser presente perfecto. Todas son presente perfecto por ahora. Gone. Gone, yeah. Okay. He gone, he, perdón, he has gone, um, boy, 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 um, snack supermarket. Okay. He has gone, um, about maybe and about a snack, snack supermarket. supermarket. Okay, yeah. very good, nice. Next one is grow. What is to grow? Crecer. Crecer. Good. Floor. That is for you. Ground. Mm, we can't hear you right now. Oh, I guess she has some problems. Yeah, she has some problems. Okay, 
Um, Iris, could you please help me with that one, with ground? And my song has grown very much in the vacation. <laughs> okay. My, my song has grown very fast. You can say in the vacation, yeah. The next one is have. Of course, you know what is have. Had is going to be for Gerardo. I have I have had I have had dog I have had a dog yeah that is good yeah, in this case, you're going to have to have, right? I have had. Okay. The next one is going to be... Um, Sería... Uh -huh. Siempre se, ten, se tendría que, que usar el have y el had. Eh, sí. En este caso, el primero va a ser en presente, have, porque es auxiliar, y el otro va a ser had. So, yo he tenido, ella ha tenido. This is going to be like, I've had, had um, the flu, for example. Okay. The next one is here. What is here? Oid. Oid. Heard. That is going to be for uh, Jonathan. Uh, my dad has heard uh, a, a song. Very good. My dad has heard a song. Next one is hide. What is hide? Esconder. Esconder. Hidden is going to be for um, Jacqueline. <laughs> Hello. Ah, here she comes. She has hidden under the table. Okay, she has hidden under the table. Nice. Next one is hit. What is hit? Golpear. Golpear. Good. Uh, this is easy, so it's going to be for Brian. Hit my door. I've hit my door. Okay. The next one is hold. What is hold? Sostener. 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 Good. Held is going to be for Francisco. Okay. I I have held my my books. I've held my books. Yeah, good. Hurt. What is hurt? Edir. Edir. So this one is going to be for Jonathan. I've hurt my finger. I've hurt my finger. Good. Keep. What is keep? Mantener. Mantener. Very good. Cap. Cap is going to be for Jenny. Um, mantener es. Sí, mantener, yes. Este. I. I kept my arm up. Okay, I kept my arm up. Yeah, that's good. No, what is no? Saber. Saber, conocer, good. 
known is going to be for Brenda Sandoval. Natalia, se puede hacer negativa. You can do a negative, that's good. Okay, sería Natalia had no que eh, speak English. Mm, okay, Natalia haven't known how to speak English. Yeah, it's possible to say that. That's good. Le okay. Next one is going to be learn. What is learn? Aprender. Okay. Learned is going to be for Carlos. Okay, teacher. Um, I have now speak English. Okay, I have learned how to speak English. Good. Next one is leave. What is leave? Salir. Abandonar. Abandonar. Dejar. Good. Left is going to be for Gerardo. Ana has left her house. Okay. Anna has left her house. Good. Next one is lose. What is lose? Floor. Lost. I lost my cell phone. I've lost my cell phone. That's not good, but anyways. <laughs> I have. Yeah, good. The next one is make. What is make? I said. Good. Made is going to be for uh, Iris. I have made the dinner today. I have made the dinner today. Good. Mean. What is mean? Significar. Significar. Uh, remember that this is very common when you say in English, what do you mean? It's like, ¿qué quieres decir? ¿verdad? No te entiendo. That is maybe the most common. So, uh, mint. That is going to be for Brenda Cruz. I meant the, the word. Okay. I meant the word. Meat. What is meat? Reunir. Very good. Uh, Met is going to be for uh, Jacqueline. Are you know, teacher? Mm, that is easy. I'm going to help you. I've met with my friends uh, at the bar, for example, or at the cafe. Okay. And the last one is pay. What is pay? Pagar, pagar. Very good. Pay is going to be for Brian. I paid my cell phone. I've paid my cell phone. Good. Okay, so these are just a few, um, a few verbs. Remember that there are many other verbs that you can um, learn. Probably the idea is to learn the ones that changed a lot. The regulars, you don't have to worry about that one. The ones that don't change that much, like lose, lost, lost, it's not that necessary. But there are some verbs like know, new, and known that have three different forms. So those ones, uh, yeah, we need to learn them, okay? We're going to continue practicing because this is a very important topic. So. This first part is going to be um, affirmative only. So what are we going to do? We are going to, with this word, uh, create a sentence in affirmative. So, of course, using the present perfect. Number one, how is it going to be? I have studied French. I have studied French. Good. Number two. 
She has eaten octopus. She has eaten octopus. Good. She has eaten octopus. Have you eaten octopus? Do you remember that? Uh, yeah. Have you eaten that one sometime? It's good. It's good, right? Very nice. Okay, number three. How is it going to be? Gone to Scotland. They? They have not gone to Scotland. They have gone to Scotland. That is it. Good. Number four. We have read the book. Good. Pronunciation. That is important in this one. We have read that book. Good. Number five. He has he. lived her here for three years. He has lived here for three years. That is a regular one. Number six, everybody. You have known David for 10 years. Good. You have known David for 10 years. Nice. Number seven. We have been here for two weeks. We have been here for two weeks. Good. Uh, this is very interesting. I don't see any other. But when you use been, it means that you are still there. I mean, if you say, I have been to a place, it means that you are still there. If you say, I have gone, it's because you went and you came back. So number eight. Who is going to be number eight? I, I have lost, lost my, keys. my keys. I have lost my keys. Good. Number nine. He has drunk too much coffee. He has drunk too much coffee. Not good. Number 10. They have missed the rain. Good. They have missed the train. Nice. Let's go to the next ones. Okay. 11. How is it going to be? She has gotten to Peru. She has gone to Peru. Number 12. We have eaten too much chocolate. We have eaten too much chocolate. Number 13. I have had breakfast this morning. I have had breakfast this morning. Good. Number 14. John has missed that train. John yeah. has missed the, the train. train. Number 15. Lucy has cooked breakfast. Lucy has cooked breakfast. Number 16. They have worked to the politis, politician. Politician. Actually, the mm -hmm. past participle of write is written. So this is going to be, they have written to the politician. Good. Number 17. You have found your wallet. You have found your wallet. Good. Number 18. I have met this mother, his mother. Okay, uh, remember that this one is met. I have met his mother. Good, perfect. Number 19. We have tried roller skating. We have tried roller skating. Do you know what is roller skating? Patinar. Patinar, good. And number 20. She has passed the exam. She has passed the exam. Good. Nice. The second part, of course, are negative. We're going to do only negative here. So who is going to be number one? We haven't. We haven't. Gone to Paris. Gone to Paris. Good. Number two.
Chihasi Ch so Chihasi No, sin creo que es Sin, ajá, uh, with N Sin So, yes She hasn't seen the Lord of the Rings Good, she hasn't seen the Lord of the Rings Good Okay, number three He hasn't met my brother, my mother Okay He hasn't met my mother Good Number four. They have not visited St. Paul's. Very good. They haven't visited or they have not visited St. Paul's. Oh. Okay. Number six. I have. I have some new. Okay, that is uh, number five. Oh. Is going to be, I haven't known. No. Known. So it's going to be I haven't known him for three months. Okay. Number six. You hasn't studied studied French for ten ten years. Okay, so that is going to be you haven't. You haven't. You haven't studied French for French ten years. Ten year. ten year. Number seven. They, they haven't, haven't been, been in London for six months. Good. They haven't been in London for six months. Mm -hmm. Number eight. He hasn't hurt his leg. Okay. He hasn't hurt his leg. Number nine. She, she hasn't, hasn't left learned. her phone in a taxi. She hasn't left her phone in a taxi. Good. Number 10. We haven't lost our ticket. Our we ticket. haven't lost our ticket. Our ticket. Good. Then number <laughs> 11. She hasn't made dinner. She hasn't made dinner. Dinner. Good. Number 12. They haven't no arrived yet. They haven't arrived yet. Good. Number 13. She has not done her homework. She has not done her homework. Good. Number 14. I haven't, I haven't not, I haven't read that, that book. Perfect. I haven't read that book. Nice. Number 15. He has not lived in the Berlin. Okay. He has not lived in Berlin or Berlin. Or he hasn't lived in Berlin. Number 16. John, John hasn't bought any food. Perfect. John hasn't bought any food. Number 17. She hasn't cleaned, she hasn't the, kitchen. cleaned the kitchen. She hasn't cleaned okay, the kitchen. Go. Good. Number 18. You haven't, you called, haven't me. called me. You haven't called me. Good. Number 19. We haven't played the book yet. We haven't found the book yet. And the last one in this part, number 20. They haven't slept well. They haven't slept well. That one is slept. 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 Good. Last part is for questions. I guess after this practice, of course, you are going to be better in this topic. So, number one, how is going to be? Have you read War and Peace? Have you read War and Peace? Good. That book is so big. Anyways, number two. Has she Has been late she for a meeting? Been Has she for been, a meeting? been late for a meeting? Good. Has she been late for a meeting? What about number three? Has, Has she, she been Met, has he met your family yet? 
Good. Has he met your family yet? Number four. Have um, they lived here as long as we have? Have they lived here as long as we have? Good. Perfect. Number five. Have you went to Australia? Gone. 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 Yeah. Have gone. you gone to Australia? Uh, to Australia. Have you gone to Australia? Okay. What about number six? Has she missed the bus? Has she missed Has she the bus? Missed the bus. The Good. bus. Has she missed the bus? Good. Number seven. Uh, Have I, I met, met you before? before? Have, Have I, I met you before? Yeah, that is actually a very common question. Have I met you before or have we met have we met before? That is a very good and common question. Number eight. Have they took have they taken the exam? It's have taken. They taken, yeah. Have they taken okay. the exam? Nice. Number nine. Has she Has worked, she worked in, in the company for 15 years? Yeah, has she worked in this company for 15 years? And the number 10. How long has she lived in London? How long has she lived in London? These are information questions. That, that is a WH question, so it's a little bit different. Number 11. Where have you been? Where have you been? Good. Number 12. How much coffee have you drink? Ah, you drink today. <laughs> How much coffee have you drunk today? Drunk. Yes. Yeah, that's the one. Drunk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number thirteen. What have you do today? What have you done today? What done. have you done? done? Good. What have you done today? Number fourteen. How long has he worked here? How, How long, long has he worked here? here? Good. What about you... number 15? Why have you brought that? Brought why? Brow, good. So, why have you brought that? Number 16. How many times have you visited Scotland? How many times have you visited Scotland? Good. Number 17. How many books have, How many you, books read have you read this read week? week? Yeah. Good. How many books have you read this week? What about number 18? How long have mm -hmm. you studied English? How long have you studied English? What about number 19? Have how, much, how much food have, have you bought? Good. Oh. How much food have you bought? Can you see here that here we need to take care about things that you have studied before? So, for example, uncountable. How much food have you bought? So, every, yes. everything is put in together. Number 20. They have gone to have the they USA. Gone to the USA. Have oh. they Gone to the USA. That is it. Have they gone to the USA? Good. Very good. Okay, uh, before we continue, do you have any question? Uh, teacher, in, in the number four, what's the mean? They live here has a long house. We have. Okay, that is like a comparative in a different way. So if you say, have they lived here as long as we have? Uh, in Spanish, it's something like, ¿Han vivido ellos aquí tanto como nosotros? Entonces, ah, okay. ese, as long as, de hecho, se va a ver más adelante. Creo que no en este módulo, pero sí más adelante. Van a ver cómo comparar con adjetivos y con nombres. Eh, y usando esas dos palabras que es as and then us. So, it's going okay. to be very easy. Very something like that. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Any other question? 
Not the teacher. Okay, uh, vamos teacher, a go ahead. I have a question. Uh, I use auxiliary, uh, use auxiliary, auxiliary help uh, person I, you. Uh, yes. For uh, uh, the, 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 the person he, she, uh, they, we, has. No. You, no, we're, no. We're going to use have for all the plurals and first person. So I, you, we, and they is going okay. to be have. Have, okay, teacher. And then for he, he she, and it is going to be has. Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Any other question? With the verb, with the verb met, meet, sorry, um, eh, también se puede usar, o sea, también se puede eh, utilizar como para decir que, con, que conocí o conozco. Sí. O, o sí. solo es como reunir. Eh, no, no, porque puede ser de que usted de repente conoció a alguien. Se, si ustedes se recuerdan, if you remember when you introduce somebody, uh, the salutation, the greeting is uh, nice to meet you, right? So, yeah, that is like I, I met. You know, I you can say I have met your, uh, your father uh, one time in the past, you know, sometime. So that means that one or two times you have been together. So that is it. Sorry, okay, teacher. Uh, repeat the when, when use has and have the okay. plural. Uh, yes. uh -huh. Yeah, we're going to use have as the auxiliary with all the plurals and the first person. So for example, I, plural, you, uh, it's they and we with those four we're going to use have and for he she and it is going to be has is that clear now okay it's teacher clear. thank you okay okay it's clear teacher okay uh, this topic is very important as you uh as you see as you remember uh, we have checked the present perfect, right? I mean, the simple present. The simple present is for habits, for routines. Like when you say, I always take a shower, I propose it on Saturdays, that is it. The other topic is the present continuous. Like when you are doing actions in the moment. Like when you say, I'm eating pupusas. So uh, right now, I'm eating pupusas. I'm walking in the park. So that is the second tense. The third tense is the simple past tense for actions that finished. So like when we say, I went to the park. I mean, in the park, I comí. Okay. The simple past. And this one, this one is for experiences, for things that uh, we don't have a specific time in the past. Maybe they have repeated or maybe they started in the past. And we continue. So, for example, I have gone to the Christmas party for five years now. Or I have been in Australia uh, last, well, many times in the past. The things like that. So, as you see, we have the four main topics right now. These are the most common tenses. Estos tiempos que acabamos de ver son los cuatro que más se utilizan. Entonces, Como consejo, y lo que yo les recomiendo es que traten de usarlos todos. Yo sé que cuesta, ¿verdad? Pero no usemos solo el presente simple o el presente continuo. Recordemos cuándo se utiliza. Presente simple, rutinas y hábitos. Cosas que siempre hacemos. El presente continuo para cosas que estoy haciendo en el momento. El pasado simple para cosas que ya pasaron, se terminaron. Yo fui, yo caminé, yo cociné. Y este que es el presente perfecto, que va a ser para acciones que son como experiencias o que eh, iniciaron y continúan o se han hecho muchas veces. Como si decimos, yo he comido pizza. ¿Cuántas veces? No sé, pero he comido muchas veces. Entonces, tratemos de empezar a meter este, este tipo de vocabulario, de lenguaje, de gramática en las conversaciones poco a poco. Si ustedes manejan estos cuatro tiempos, 
Uh, básicamente lo demás solo es complemento. Sí hay un par de tiempos adicionales, la voz pasiva y tal vez algunas oraciones que ya el otro módulo van a empezar a ver que son un poco más complejas, donde ya se mezclan algunos tiempos, donde ya unimos dos o tres oraciones eh, y luego ya vamos llegando como a párrafos, como a ideas un poco más complejas. Pero estos cuatro tiempos son como la base. ¿verdad? Si ustedes lo practican, mi recomendación es que lo practiquen de todas maneras. Hay muchos ejercicios, pueden ver videos, pueden escribir. Hay una herramienta muy interesante en Google uh, en Word en la que ustedes pueden activar, por ejemplo, un micrófono y ponerlo en inglés. Y ustedes le dictan ahí a la página y si la página no lo escribe bien es porque no lo dijimos bien. ¿verdad? Entonces, hay muchas herramientas. Pero estos cuatro que acabamos de terminar de ver junto con el continuo, que no lo vieron conmigo, pero me imagino que ya lo vieron. Uh, y el futuro, que es bastante fácil, el will, el going to, que creo que así se lo vamos a ver más adelante. Uh, básicamente es la base de todo el inglés. De ahí solo se van a ver otras cosas que van como complementando, como para que sea un poco más profesional, más polite, más educado. Pero esto es lo más importante, ¿ok? okay. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Y usted no, y usted no, tiene, no nos puede enviar... Eh... Uh, como exercise, eh, donde podamos ver los, los tiempos. Claro que sí, les voy a estar enviando ejercicio. Yo no lo había enviado porque no me habían pedido, pero sí, yo les puedo estar enviando. Entonces, mañana bueno, si quieren, please. o quizás, no sé si les parece que se los envíe el jueves para que tengan varios días para estarlo haciendo. Okay, sure. Igual me pueden escribir, uh -huh. eh, ya sea fin de semana, eh, a las 2 de la mañana, solo que no les voy a responder. <risa> Eh, le voy a responder después, pero me pueden preguntar cualquier cosa y yo al ver el, el, la pregunta, pues yo le voy a responder, ¿ok? De los cuatro okay. tiempos me daría, okay. dicha, para ver la diferencia. O, o sea, sí. Sí. Les puedo enviar de muchas cosas, quizá más de lo que hemos visto para que vayan reforzando, pero sí hay muchas cosas que podemos ir viendo, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Ok, okay my friend. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be with you today. Uh, see you tomorrow and have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 God bless you. God bless you.